Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, oh, I don't know what you got going on, pal. We like to do single barrel review, single barrel, single bottle reviews. <laughs> yes, we well, do. Single, single barrel bottle reviews. Can you start that over again? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Every now and then. And um, my my good buddy Ian texted me last week and he was like, hey, okay. I got this Blanton's Gold. Would you be interested in buying it from me? Oh, I saw the box. I saw the box there. This isn't a, this isn't a decoy. Don't worry. It's not like something special in here. Well, with you, it is what it is. On the, I never on the know what's coming out of the box or what's happening. I do not know. This is actually a Blaine's Gold. I okay. was able to purchase this for right. my buddy Ian for MSRP. I think he paid one forty nine ninety nine. Um, I paid one forty nine ninety nine. So, so it worked out pretty good. So one hundred fifty bucks. So for my education, because I do not know. Anything past uh, you know anything past the the typical Blanton's release, I really don't know much about. So uh -huh. this is Blanton's Gold. Yep, and it, it runs about 150 bucks MSRP. What's the proof on it? Uh, 103. Know? Okay, 103 it's three proof. All so right. this this uh, bottle was a non U.S. release for a long time, and I think oh. up it was either 2018 or 2020 they brought it to the U.S. Even though it's made in the U.S., they started distributing sure. nationwide sure. Uh, for this for this product. It's 103 proof. It's you know believed to be aged from six to eight years, similar to regular blends, which we're going to be doing like a kind of side by side oh, okay. uh, with to see. All right. Ninety three proof versus one hundred and three proof, same age. Good idea. Different horsey color. You know how does that affect it? Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I haven't opened this yet. So. I did. Did Kit have one of Blatton's Gold at his house and live stream we did eons ago? Yes. So you've you've had this before, but with all the you had seven of them. Yeah, so I, it's hard to say. That was a year ago, probably, isn't it? Something a year and a half, I think. <laughs> it was a while ago. That's how time goes when you get old. And it even comes in this nice black velvet bag. Wow, that is like a nice shiny gold. Yeah, horsey. yeah, uh, completely different nice. than this one. This is uh, what is this? Oh, this is an O. Oh, there's letters on it. Yeah, still. it's still got the letters. Do all of them have letters too? Yeah. Oh. There are some blends that you can find that are like pre-letter. From like the 1990s oh, that sure. just don't have a letter on them, and the, the, the detail isn't as like as sharp as as the new ones as you might be able to understand. Okay, but there it is. Wow. We got a gold grenade we're we're tossing out here today. Look at that thing. Still got the wax on and everything. I think the, the wax. Wow, is black. you do. You still got yeah. the wax and everything. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow! Clear bottle. It's the only thing that's different. The dump yeah. date on this was two twenty seven twenty three. So Rick ate. So very, very recently. If you want to peel the little tabbies off that guy, um, the one that you tried at Kent's, I believe, was a 700 ml. Okay. Because when he got it, I don't think it was a, a U.S. release. Okay. And then um, secondary for these is roughly 250, 275 ish. Okay. Um, and the secondary is either for 700 or 750. I haven't really found much of a difference. You get 50 milliliters less, and you're still paying the same secondary price, but. I would I would have never purchased one myself. Yeah, but it was just cool to find one. I was like, hey, let's toss it out and see see what all the hype's about. This is gonna be fun because yeah, I, I'll pour the regulars. I'm, I'm very curious when it comes to Blanton's. I mean, we we know everybody knows Blanton's highly sought after. Well, that's a fact. You know, it's a beautiful bottle. It's got a lot of collectible, you know, fortunes to it. Um, Buffalo Trace. But what intrigues me with this particular one is the proof point. Yep. And I don't. I, I apologize. I really don't remember being at Kent's house. I mean, I remember being there. I, I'm not <laughs> it was that, that good of a night. I'm huh? not that bad yet. <laughs> but I don't remember tasting this particular bottle. That's for sure. So I'm very curious to see the proof point. Yeah. Well, the only one that compares. The only one that you have is the the regular, and then you have the straight from the barrel. Yes. And this straight from yeah, the barrel is for sure 128. Yeah, it's up there, and, and that one's dynamite. Yeah. Really. So this one, very very I mean, good. Two proof points. So we have the gold is it's like synonymous mm -hmm. with with this mm -hmm. right here. So this is the gold. Sure. And this is my blends. It's been open for a while. So we, okay. So which ones you put over here? Is this the gold on my yeah the gold on my right? right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now we haven't any time in the glass like I like to have. Yeah, right. We can, you can have to swirl <laughs> it on the on the edges there. That's how I do it. You know, some people they do the mighty swirl like oh. this. You know, see now, look what you did. Why do you swirl it? <laughs> well, it's an art form. It's technique. Now it's, it's, now it's all over it's the right place. It's right over there. <laughs> oh. Rip! Hit the counter before it hit my mouth. That's rough. Look, can you see that? Oh my. <laughs> Anyways, 
I'm never rolling my glass again. Wearing the hard <laughs> way. Got, got, it's just that simple, dude. It's just that easy. So it's surprising <laughs> how it's like this, but a little bit more concentrated. Yeah. If I smell this first and then I smell this. Okay. This is like way light. Yeah, I mean, that is a nice nose. Um, it's not dark, but it is very sweet. Mm -hmm. Definitely has some nice caramel tones to it. A little light honey on there. Sweetness. I'm not swirling mine again. <laughs> well, swirling, what do you call this, a rotation? I'm not rotating I guess, mine I don't yet. know. I just, you know, I'm not big on any more of doing this kind of thing. I just kind of take it and, you know. Coat the outside of the glass. When I'm nosing and trying to find the aromas, because, you know, as we talked before, I'm a little bit handicapped in that area because of surgery, but it helps me. I found it helps me if I actually coat the sides of the glass rather than just do the swirl like this. You know, that could just, it just kind of agitates the bourbon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might help some too. I don't know. If you do that, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. For me personally, if I tilt the glass and I roll it like this, it coats more of the inner lining of the Glencairn. And then in five or ten minutes, it just comes, it's just way easier for me to, to catch the aromas that are in the bourbon. Because they're catching on the, the little top yeah, they're part sticking of the glass. To the yeah. sides of the glass. And, hmm. Less travel it has yeah, to do. Sure. But I see what you're saying. You know, this is a pretty nice nose too, but yeah. this one's is a lot more is a lot brighter. This is like potent dull compared to compared right, this to this a lot, one. A lot more potent. Yeah, I wasn't I really wasn't but, you expecting know, that. What is that? 103 to 93 proof. Yeah. Right? So really neat. I'm going in. Cool. Very nice. Hmm. What you got? I like the proof point yeah. a lot. And again, you folks know what I've said quite a bit too. I'm, I'm in that 100 to 110 proof bourbon wheelhouse that I really, really like. That's my first sip of the day. So I'm getting the tingle and the burn a little bit that would probably settle down after a few sips. But I don't find the, the flavors to be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I think they're nice. I think they're very nice. It doesn't blow me away yet. Let's put yeah. it that way. Let me get a few more sips in. I get uh, just a, a little bit, a little bit of, of oak that kind of overpowers the sweetness. But I mean, we are on the neck pour, mm -hmm. and we, we've gotten a couple comments about like mm -hmm. why when we do bottle reviews like this, why we yeah. don't let it air out a little bit. And normally we do. Yeah. Normally we do. Sometimes we just like to fly by the seat of our pants. Yeah. Know? Sometimes it's brand new and you just can't wait to open it. That's all. Most of the time we do open them and let them sit for a while, but. I kind of like it actually. Yeah. I, I, the oak is fine for me in there. I, I definitely pick up the oak. I get that light caramel in there, just a hint of a baking spice, but not not deep and dark though. Do you get like any cherry? Any cherryness. Know, let me try again because I know a lot of folks get cherry notes yeah. on Buffalo Trace. And I, you won't believe this, but I I opened a bag of sweet tarts before I came over here, and I had a couple. And I'm not kidding. So, mm. but. I do get a little bit of cherry on that. I can kind of see that. Or, or some, I can kind of see it. Like dark, dark cherry. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, black cherry. Maybe? Yeah, some some form of cherry on there. It's not it's not a dominant note for me for sure. Yeah. Without you saying it, I don't know if I personally would have picked it up, but with you saying it, I can see where you're coming from. Um, I do like the proof point. I absolutely see where you're coming from with the oak mm -hmm. because the oak is maybe for some could be a little. Tannic's not the right word. Just up, a, up front, maybe? Yeah, just, just up front and personal and just slightly bitter. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a horrible way because it's not that at mm -hmm. all. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. But I can see some folks it may, it may a little bit. But there's definitely some oak in there, some light caramel, some light baking spices is the main thing that I get. I, so getting this and, and doing a video on it, I didn't want to... Like go into this just wanting to hate on it because it's it's no. so aloof, aloof, al no. exclusive, elusive, yeah. elusive, Very exclusive. all three, elusive, <laughs> yeah, fine, um, sure. But this is really good. It is. I I, I kind of like it, and and I've never been a Blanton's hater. Mm -hmm. I I actually think it's beautiful on the shelf. I understand why so many people want to get it. I just draw the line where I don't understand why people want to pay three hundred dollars for it. That's all. Yeah. You know, and I, mean, I can't get in everybody's business, and I'm not going to. So, 
for me personally, I think for the right price, and we're the up to now about seventy bucks probably for a regular MSRP. Plans. Yeah, uh, sixty-five, seventy, depending. Yeah, so I mean, you know, I, th I think that's a nice addition to your shelf. It's yeah. a beautiful bottle. It's pretty good bourbon, you know. Then this is, uh, you know, would I personally buy this for one hundred fifty dollars after tasting it? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Okay. I don't feel like it's worthy of one hundred and fifty dollars. What would you per buy? se? But probably a hundred bucks, oh, you know, yeah. 80, hundred bucks, something like that. I think it'd be okay. And and I wouldn't even pay a hundred bucks if it wasn't Blanton's either, but it's, you know, it is, it is a nice collector's yeah. piece. You, you can't lie about that, but the quality of the bourbon doesn't add up to $150 to me. I, I agree. Still good though. <clears throat> Still good. It's a cool one-time thing to have on the shelf for 150 bucks. I wouldn't buy another mm -hmm. one if I saw it. I'd mm -hmm. say that. I'd probably be maybe for me max 120, mm -hmm. but Comparing this to this, this is almost like watered down. Did you try this one again? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yet. This Let's is like it. watered down, like Let's if do you it. took tap water and stuck a couple branches in it, and then that's mm -hmm. really like what I'm getting. I don't know if it's because the flavors <laughs> in this, in this is just so like like concentrated. Well, once I take a sip of this, it might change my mind a little bit on this one Maybe. too. Maybe. Yeah. Because I've just been sipping this. I haven't had a taste of the of the regular Blanton's release. Oak water, maybe is how I would kind of describe this. I don't know. Would you say water with a couple sticks in it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, cleaning out your backyard, getting ready to mow. You just toss those sticks right in the water and let it sit for a couple hours. Huh. It's kind of how this is. Sugar taste. in the water, a couple <clears throat> of sticks. Maybe. I'm not getting much like sugariness at all. It's just kind of a lot of oak from from this compared to this. Now, I do drink this every now and then. It's, it's not a go-to for me by any means, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting much from it today. And I did have this first, though, so. Well, there you go, because I personally don't drink this at all. And it's not because, <clears throat> excuse me, they don't like it. I usually keep one here for folks that may come down and they want a taste of it, and I'm ha more than happy to share with them. Um, I, I can see what you're saying, because once you drink them side by side, now I probably should have started with this one to give it a fair assessment. I should have done the same. You know, I think if we started with a regular release at the lower proof first, we might have been able to give it a little bit a fairer shake in the whole deal. Yeah, it's just, it's not a fair comparison. But two and a half times the mm -hmm. price, 10 more proof, mm -hmm. solid. It is, and I agree with that. And I... I have to I have to go a little bit further than you. It's the, the regular release is a little bit better than two sticks two sticks in a bucket really? of water. Really? Oh, you know, yeah. I still get some you know some decent notes there, but but it doesn't stack up to this this Blanton's Gold. I'll promise you that. That that's a really nice option for you know, the, the proof. The proof yeah. is what's amplifying the flavors. Really, mm -hmm. you know, you get that you get that little better proof in most anything. You know, your your flavor is going to be a little bit better. So. I like it. Fun, fun I'm comparison. glad you have it. Yeah. Fun comparison. I honestly did not expect too much from the extra 10 proof points. Mm -hmm. But what I would be interested in and maybe hope for at, at some point in the future, this is very unlikely with Buffalo Trace, but you have this regular release of blends at 93 proof. Mm -hmm. And then you have something like Lot B and then Pappy 20 and Pappy 23 at like 90-ish 90, 90 proof. If they just bump that up to a little bit above 100, mm -hmm. just like how this is... Yeah, in my opinion, Eon's better than this. Sure, I think that would be. Yeah, the Pappy would even be a lot better. Not that it's not good already, but it could. I, I think it could benefit from some proof like this did. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I yeah, yeah, I, I can see that, and I can, I can even follow suit with that argument with Weller. Yes, because <laughs> Weller Twelve, in my opinion, is a very nice pour. But you Pulled add, you add ten, you know, you add ten more proof to that. Now you're talking. I think, I think it'd be really good stuff. What's well, like Weller Full Proof? So. You're getting closer to that yeah. range. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's my only bummer with Weller 12. I think it's got some great notes. I think it's good. I think it's pretty creamy. Mm -hmm. But it just doesn't have that proof point to really get you those intense flavors. Yeah. So Really cool. Really cool experience. Thanks, Ian, yeah. for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I would not have found this without your without your generosity. So thank you very no, much. Yeah, thank you, buddy. And Appreciate then um, this Friday, it kind of snuck up on us, I feel like. We have a live stream. It did sneak up on us. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Caught me with that one. Okay. All right. Uh, what are we? Look, four roses. We're doing four roses. Yeah, I'd love to. We've been talking about it for yeah. a while now, so let's do it. We've got quite a bit of. Uh, I got very fortunate. And ran into the right guy that was wanting to thin down his bourbon collection, and he sold me four or five of his uh, four roses limited editions for 
an amazing, I mean, pretty much MSRP. MSRP. Yeah. And how far, how, how mean, often do you come up to somebody that they're like, yeah. I'm looking to thin up my collection? It yeah. doesn't happen too often. No. Never been open, nothing else. Yeah. So Really cool. It'd be a lot of fun to do the Four Roses Limited Edition. At the, on the live stream. Yeah. So this Friday, him and Ken will be duking it out for the for, for <laughs> yeah. Four Roses, the limited. Four we'll, Roses King. We'll, the we'll toss a sleeper in there and then see kind of how they fare. And yeah. uh, it'll be it'll be a good time this Friday yeah. at uh, 8 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Always a good time on live streams. All right. That's all we got for you today. I hope you hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I was a bit surprised. I, I didn't know. Very, I, I, I saw the Blanton's box, but I didn't know you're really going to peel out of Blanton's because you never know. You're, you know, I don't know what you got going on well, out there. I got something but it's else actually for next a week. Blanton's, and it's a Blanton's gold. So at 100, yeah. 103 proof, which I thought was actually pretty good. So yeah. it was nice to do a side by side too. So yeah, thank you for bringing it down. And Kurt has a, a little side by side comparison for Wild Turkey that's coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, and it's going to be interesting to say the least you can't miss it yeah so i've been looking forward to this one for a few weeks so. i know you have yeah let's get let's let's get it done <laughs> that's right. gonna be lots of fun <laughs> all right hey, as always we ask you to please drink responsibly have a fabulous week and we'll see you next time right down here with trent and i in a good old basement bourbon bar see you later